Today on the channel, we honor the House of Black by the way of the Jazzwares Vault with the one of 5,000 Malachi Black. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another AEW Jazzwares unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got something extra special. We got Malachi Black representing the House of Black AEW Jazzwares Vault exclusive. But of course, for all your vault needs, you got to head over to the vault. That's where these are available. And there is a little bit of question right now about this one. Is it one of 5,000 as the package shows or is it one of 3,000? It was one of 3,000 on the website, one of 5,000 on the package. I guess I would think package one of 5,000. Not exactly sure. I know this did sell out as of filming right now. I don't think they're putting any more up, but you never know. But there was a limit of two on this. I forgot about the Jazzwares Vault launch. I was in a meeting. Luckily, my meeting got over a little after 11. I got on there about 11.10. I checked out and I got another one of these for my Min on Card collection. So I didn't have any issues getting there. Hopefully, you guys got yours. But it's like anything else from any of these drops from any of these companies. You got to be there when the time drops. That's the way it does go. So... I don't know. Hopefully you got one if you were after it. If not, we'll just have to see what happens on the secondary market, unfortunately. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And it does come in a little shipping box right here. One of those death metal band logos is what it looks right there like that. Malachi Black, of course, right there. Uh, but it's one of those ones where you can't read it at first. You got to kind of stare at it for a second. Then, oh, there's Malachi Black. I see his name in there. Of course, AEW going on. There he is being very uh, reflective with his antler head on. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Same thing on this side as well. And then kind of that same thing, but in uh, cardboard color. I guess a brown color instead of black. You know, it's both sides of the house of black there. See you later. Goodbye. Now we get down to the old meat and, of course, the potatoes. And we're here for meat and potatoes. That's what we do here. The very menacing front of the package on this one. Once again, you get the logo. Get the big antler head there looking good. Looking very dark. Looking like uh, some black metal is what it looks like to me right here. It is number 140, I guess. Is this uh, Unrivaled? It does not say, does it? It doesn't say Unrivaled. doesn't say Unmatched. So that's a little bit different. So what is it 140 of? I'm assuming Unrivaled. Uh, so I don't know. Very, very strange on that l numbering here. I don't know about you guys. Me personally, I'd say just leave the number off. Save the ink. Save the ink. I don't think anybody would care. You do get Malachi Black on the side. Once again, looking good. Little window to let the light in. Very similar to, of course, his Supreme Edition. One of the hardest to find figures of the last couple of years in the wrestling headspace game, whatever you want to call it. No doubt there. UBC's on the bottom. And then the magic, it comes in right here with the power of Velcro, all oh, Velcro. One of the great inventions of the world as we know. Two little images on the side, big window box in the middle. You can get old Malachi Black's John Hancock on there if you want to. And I met him once upon a time, I always bring that up. One really good guy. He, he talked to me for me for quite some time. It was right when he was coming up. Uh, he you know, spent a lot of time with me and my daughter as well. So we had a long talk about legendary fighter boss root is what we talked about. But looking good right here. And I do actually have, I was one of those ones that bought two right when they came out of the Supreme, of course, uh, Malachi Black. So I do have this. So you can kind of see basically same packaging size, same kind of thing. I don't believe this is going to be a Supreme figure, but you know we're going to check. We're going to check for sure. But a very rare boy right here is this Malachi Black figure. I'm going to put this off to the side. A gentle off to the side. Don't need to be destroying that one, no doubt about it. But then, of course, we're going to pull him out of the package here. See what's going on. Dare I say, see what all the fuss is about. What's this background look like? Nothing too wild back there. It's kind of plain Jane. But it is what it is. Velcro it down. It does say, once again, Vault 1 to 5,000. Some people say in 3,000. I'm going to go with 5,000. That's going to be my best guess, I guess, just because it says it on the package. So there you go. Plastic Prison looking pretty good here. Lots of heads. Uh, not a ton of hands with this one, no. But we do get a ton of heads that we're going to have to decipher through. Always difficult. Sometimes I don't like getting so many heads and accessories because it makes it really hard to figure out which way to go with this. So I'll figure it out, though. I always do. Always do. 
get these antler heads. And it's hard to turn down an antler head. You know me. They always do say that. Kyle, yeah, Kyle's going to go with an antler head. If he has a choice, he's going antlers. See you later. Goodbye. There it is right there. All right. We're getting down to business. And his head is off right out of the package. Right out of the package. It's off. And then he is going to also, like a young orange Cassidy, inseminate a cow, it looks like here. As we do get the plastic wrapped all the way around the arms here. And then you do get a rubber band around the waist. So I'm going to try... Try as hard as I can to get this off the waist. There we go. Pull that down, rubber band goodbye. Can I get this plastic off though? I was gonna say, does the arm pull off? What can we do here? What can we do here? How do I get this plastic off this arm? It is on there tight. Usually they kind of slide off, but this one's almost like it's in the joint. Yeah, it is deep in the joint. It's deep in there. They're trying to keep this thing from bleeding, obviously. Uh, they are very worried about that. We've had a lot of struggles with Jazzwares over the last couple of years with this line with, of course, uh, bleeding in. There we go. Looking good. See you later. A double. See you later. Goodbye. And look at this. We got pinless joints. Oh, they're playing all the hits for me. They knew I was coming, I guess. They said, let's pull out the red carpet for old Kyle. He loves a good pinless joints. This is supreme articulation, it looks like here, as we do get toe articulation as well. So, Right off the bat, this is basically a replacement for that Supreme. Like I said, a lot of people missed out on this. This is a next chapter, a next set, another way to get this uh, Malachi Black uh, Supreme. But let's dive into the heads first here. The one we got right out of the package. I guess I'm just going to pull his head off. Might as well. Why wouldn't we, I guess? We'll do a headless horseman gimmick with him. Oh, I forgot about the hands. Two-fisted hands here. Not that big a deal, of course. So we do get two-fisted hands. Right out of the package, two gripping hands as well. But we do get this head here. Big old antlers. It's like an antelope is what this one looks like here. Mask is not removable. You do got a little bit of that mullet going out the back. Tattoos on the side. Got the beard going on. A little bit of face paint on one side. We're here for that as usual. Got the crazy eyes going on, but it, a little bit of like an antelope looking head on this one. So very, very cool to see that head. Now we're diving into some of these other heads and oh my gosh, we got another crazy antlered head here. Uh, very ornate, like a deer head uh, antlers, I guess. I don't know, it's just like a 20 point buck or a 21 point buck or something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh my gosh, who knew? And I don't even hunt or anything. 21 points on this antler head here. Same head kind of behind. You do get a little bit of that uh, face paint all over the place with this one. Pretty ornate, and this is the one I'm leaning to go to first. We'll see what ends up happening here. But two antlered heads out of the packaging, and then three regular heads. Can you believe that? A lot going on right here today. So you do get the mouth-closed version here. He's got one eye with the big black splat of paint going on, a little bit of white in the beard. Same hair throughout on all these ones. Very stoic, very evil, very dark, very black metal is what that is right there. Now we get two that are really full-on face paint going on. It depends. How do you like your teeth? Do you like them super gritted together or do you like them just clenched together? That's pretty much the difference between the two. Uh, this one here has a little bit of white in one eye where this one is both just regular eyes. But these two, not totally different from each other. So you might not need to use these or one or the other could have been good. I think they could have left one of these out in all honesty. But always uh, getting more, that's not a bad thing at the uh, end of the day as we do know. Now we do get an extra set of... Uh, torso, I guess, tor yeah, not see you later, not torso. Uh, what would you call it? Legs? Yeah, see you later. Legs, you get legs and a waist. There you go. Easy for me to say. I'm getting there. Uh, but it is all wrapped up right here. So you get a little skirt action going on. Put that in there. You get, of course, Malachi Black on the back. This is, of course, his trunks look. And he goes back and forth, but this is the trunks look here. Tattoos throughout. One of the most tattooed men in the AEW roster that's not named Brody King, of course, as we know. But looking very, very nice. Got the knee pads going on. I uh, really do like the looks of this for what this is, of course. And you got to choose your own adventure, which is a little tough with some of these from time to time. But we do get that. And now we're going to dive into this one right here. Now, uh, once again, we're representing the House of Black, as we do know. And the first thing you notice is just all the tattoos on this. It's absolutely amazing. Jazzwares does the best job. They do beat Mattel for sure in the tattoo department going all in on these. Definitely looks absolutely crazy. Very wild. Love the colors. Love all the different stuff. It's one of those things you look at it every single time you look at it, you see something really different with it, which I think is really, really cool. You do get that kind of hood and cowl mask. The COVID mask, is that what that is? I don't know. And then you've got some of that wrapping all throughout on here. Very on brand. We see him like this, of course, on AEW TV fairly regularly. He does got that vest that matches uh, the rest of the House of Black, of course. Got a little bit of the bones and stuff and spikes. Even a little tail on this one here. 
looking good. And then, of course, you get the knee pads, the black boots going on. Looking very interesting. Color differences. You got a little silver and black attack over there. You get a little gold and black attack over here. How do you prefer it? I always prefer gold over silver. I don't know about you. I'm a guy thinking about the money at the end of the day, I guess. But arms do go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. Playing all the hits right here today. You know I'm here for that. Hands removable back and forth. You got painted on forearm tape, of course. Head, of course, removable back and forth, side to side. This vest is removable as well if you want to take that off. And of course, uh, all the other vest stuff is removable. You do get the tattoos, everything on the waist. You get the hula hoop plus traditional waist in here. He is also wrapped up at the waist, so I'll have to clean all that up here for some glamour shots. Uh, you do get the thigh cut. You do get the leg that goes up. No drop down hips. I couldn't remember if they had that or not. You do get the double jointed knees going on, looking beautiful once again. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, up and down. And then, of course, that patented Todd McFarlane toe articulation. What do you think about this, Todd? And Todd is sleeping once again. He just rolled over on me. Another power move from the McFarlane playbook. He doesn't want to talk, so he rolls over. He's just not into wrestling. And a lot of people say, when's Todd going to make wrestling figures? It's never going to happen, is it? No, he's not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. He's too poor, he said. Which we know that's not true. He says he's too poor to pay attention. I don't know. Todd. Todd's a wild card from the couch, as we know. But one guy that's not a wild card is, of course, Malachi Black. Really do like this one. And I love that most people, I don't even know most people, I don't know how you'd classify it, but people got a second chance to get a Supreme style Malachi Black here today. That is good for the collectors out there. That is good for those. Obviously, there's those that missed out. And once again, you got to be there on time. Be there or be square. I think that was told. And I also heard from Huey Lewis that it was hip to be square. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. But I know there's always frustrations about these things. Got to imagine he will get more figures in the future. We have to imagine that is the case. We'll see what ends up happening there. Of course, we should check. Does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible? Mattel Jazzwares ringside collectible stand. How about and he does fit on the jazz wear stand, looking really good right there. Like what I see, of course, you get the rest of the House of Black. Uh, we're truly honoring that House of Black. Where's Julia Hart? She's got to be coming fairly soon. But we got those guys together. Quite the team, quite the mean team. A favorite of mine, of course. And then we're not done there. Of course, we got Malachi Blacks. So we got that uh, unmatched one. I believe, was this his first figure? I th yeah, maybe second figure, technically, I guess. We got the most recent one, which is pretty plain Jane. One thing you could do if you really wanted to, if you're a crazy wild man out there, you can use some of these heads on some of these other ones. They all mix and match. So if you want to get crazy, you can mix and match these things if you wanted to. And then, of course, the OG, the one that started the Malachi Black Mania, is the Supreme. Got a loose one right there as well. A very, very good figure here, though, today. The Supreme style really fits him very well. I'm hoping to see more of the Supreme articulation. I think it is the way of the future. I think I'd like to see Jazzwares do a lot more of that, and I think most would. Uh, definitely looks good. Definitely a must-have. Hopefully you got one. If not, Facebook groups, eBay, Mercari, whatnot. Check me out on whatnot, all that kind of stuff. That's probably going to be the way to go, I would say. But still, a home run of a figure here. The one of 5,000, possibly 3,000 Malachi Black figure from, of course, the AEW vault. So what are your guys' thoughts, though? Did you, were you lucky enough to pick this one up? Did you get in and get this one? Like I said, I was about 10 minutes in, and I had no problems checking out. So I think if you were in that 10-minute window, at least, you probably got yours. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. we got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos, uh, bonus content, pizza stuff, dog stuff, reviews, giveaways, you name it. It's all over there on the old Patreon every single day. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget over at Barnes & Noble and Amazon, exclusive Chase Edition at Barnes & Noble is the hardcover. It is my book, The Complete Guide to the Jack's Classic Superstars line. A labor of love if there ever was one. Forward by our good friend of the channel, Jeremy Padauer. Check out the book if you haven't uh, checked it out yet. So there you go. And if you want an autographed copy for whatever reason, hit me up on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the House of Black, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.